Hello everyone, and welcome to the channel. Firefox is one of the last strongholds against the dominance of Chromium and has become a symbol of digital freedom for the entire open source community. However, in recent years, I have experienced deep frustration with the decline of the Mozilla Foundation, which has shown a clear lack of innovation and, more importantly, has made political and philosophical choices that seem disconnected from the open source vision and the community that still represents the core user base of Firefox. I have explored open source alternatives that are independent of proprietary engines, and inevitably, the choice falls on Firefox forks. However, due to their nature, forks are often unstable projects, usually managed by small teams. At this moment, we cannot be sure whether any of them will be able to grow into a solid, viable alternative to Firefox in the future. We can divide the main alternatives to Firefox into four categories. General purpose browsers, which aim to create an independent project while using Firefox's infrastructure. Classic browsers, which seek to preserve older technologies like XUL and pre-Australis Firefox. Privacy-focused browsers, which modify Firefox to maximize anonymity and minimize tracking. Experimental projects still in early development that could become significant in the coming years. These are not Firefox forks, but introduce something genuinely new. Privacy and security-oriented browsers. LibreWolf, a Firefox fork stripped of telemetry with enhanced security settings and a complete focus on privacy. No unwanted connections, no tracking, just a clean and secure browsing experience. However, it offers limited customization compared to Firefox and may be too focused on privacy, neglecting other aspects of the user experience. Tor Browser, based on Firefox ESR, Tor Browser integrates directly with the Tor network to ensure anonymity and security online. It is the best choice for those who want to browse without being tracked, or for those who are paranoid and obsessed with control. Mulvad Browser, a modified version of Firefox ESR developed by the Tor project in collaboration with Mulvad VPN. It is designed to maximize privacy without using the Tor network. It is already available and functional, but does not introduce anything truly innovative. Classic browsers that maintain the traditional Firefox experience. Waterfox, one of the first Firefox forks focused on performance improvements and a bloat-free experience. It still supports legacy XUL extensions, making it an interesting choice for those who rely on older add-ons. However, this is also its biggest limitation. It feels like a nostalgic fork looking too much to the past. A real Firefox alternative should focus on innovation and modernization. Basilisk, a project that aims to keep Gecko alive in its classic form. Based on UXP, it positions itself as the spiritual successor to Pale Moon, appealing to those who reject the direction Firefox has taken in recent years. Pale Moon, a browser based on a heavily modified version of Gecko, optimized for lightweight performance and compatibility with older web technologies. It is ideal for those who want a more traditional browsing experience and are not interested in modern UI trends. However, its reliance on outdated web technologies might limit its long-term viability. General Purpose Browsers with Alternative Interfaces and Features SeaMonkey More than just a browser, SeaMonkey is a complete internet suite that includes an email client, HTML editor, and IRC chat. It is a throwback to old-school all-in-one internet applications reminiscent of the Netscape communicator era. Florp a Japanese project that transforms Firefox into a highly customizable browser. It features a modifiable interface, advanced tab management, and enhanced productivity tools. However, its customizations are often poorly integrated, such as the multi-row tab layout, which still feels rough. Nevertheless, it's an interesting project with room for improvement. Zen, a minimalist browser based on Firefox, optimized for speed and efficiency. It offers an elegant, well-balanced design bold choices, and an impressive rise in popularity. Zen might be the most promising project for the future, but as always, sustainability is the issue. Will it be able to structure itself, attract developers, and evolve? Managing a browser like Firefox requires thousands of developers. Servo, a next-generation rendering engine originally developed by Mozilla Research and now maintained by the Linux Foundation. 
It is written in Rust and aims to provide greater security and parallelization compared to Gecko and Blink. However, development has slowed down and no complete browser currently uses Servo. Ladybird, a browser project born within Serenity OS, completely independent of Firefox and Chromium. It has a rendering engine built from scratch, meaning it does not rely on Gecko, Blink, or WebKit. It is still in its early stages, but could become a serious alternative in the future. Does a truly free web have a future? Realistically, there is no true and concrete replacement for Firefox yet. Firefox is more than just a browser. It is backed by a complex organization, extensive infrastructure, and significant financial resources. If an alternative project wants to become a global competitor, it will need to build a strong structure, secure funding, and earn user trust. Among the current alternatives, Zen appears to be the most promising, but it will need transparency, dedication, and a solid developer community to succeed. However, I see more potential in experimental projects like Servo and Ladybird. They introduce entirely new technology that could surpass Gecko and revolutionize the future of browsing. Perhaps to move beyond Firefox, we must move beyond Gecko. In the future, an open source consortium could emerge to support these projects, much like the Linux Foundation. The growing dominance of Google in web technologies is becoming increasingly evident, and sooner or later, companies and governments may take action to counter it. The fact that projects like Servo, Ladybird, and Zen exist proves that building global alternatives to Chrome and Edge is possible. I remain optimistic. The future of a free web is not yet written, and there is still room for real competition. One thing is certain. We will always need a browser that is aesthetically pleasing, secure, respects our data and privacy, and supports inclusive and accessible technologies. What name it will have, only time will tell. Thank you for watching.